I'm with Dewey Conroy of Pacific Coast Avionics, and we're here today just to find out how the show's going. So Dewey, good to be with you. Thank you. Tell us, how has Oshkosh been in terms of trig this year? It's been uh, very, very good this year. We always do pretty well with trig, but this year has been better than every year in the past. It's, the trig name is getting out there more and more. Uh, they, they're seeing the full stack of uh, trig avionics that's one stack and fill the whole panel and they're done. Uh, so uh, one purchase, one stack, and it's a great stack for them. So we're looking at the uh, TX56, and that's a, a unit that you've sold uh, yes. at the show this year. Yep. Can you tell us some of the benefits of the form factor? Biggest benefit of the TX, TX56A is the, the size. It's only 1.3 inches tall, so it's the smallest navcom you can buy on the market. There's nothing else out there you can buy that's that small. With a built-in VOR, built-in glide slope, it's compatible with almost all CDIs that are available out there, even the old King, old Collins, so uh, they, it works great. Any other standout benefits? Or features. Uh, the it, the compatibility with with other avionics and and with Trig's full stack with audio panel, com, navcom, ADSB transponder, uh, it's one stack and, and it's a great product, a great setup. So pilots navigate with GPS. That's obviously what most folk are doing. But could you tell us why the navcom remains an important? part of that sort of panel. In the U.S., VOR navigation is still um, second only to GPS, but not by much. The people still want a VOR and an ILS. Um, everybody sometimes is, is worried about GPS begin, getting jammed or something going on with it. They still want a way to navigate, and VOR, ILS is still a way to do that. For those experimental customers, yes, it, it is uh, compatible with all the Garmin EFIS, Dynan, Skyview, Garmin G3X, Garmin G5s, GI275s. It's compatible with a whole line, whether it's experimental or certified. It works everywhere. For pilots who've never heard of Trig, what would you tell them about the company and what would you say about buying a Trig product? It's actually a pretty common question. They don't, they're not real familiar with Trig, but they've heard the name. Um, Trig kind of has been known for the small two and a quarter inch instruments for a long time, and now with the full avionics stack, if they're getting more and more popular. What's the support like? It's excellent. Uh, the, there's uh, support in a couple places in the U.S. Honestly, we haven't had to use the support, which is great, uh, because the product works. Um, but the, when it's needed, the support has been terrific. One final question, Dewey. The, the whole stack for somebody who's looking to upgrade their panel or do a, a renovation, um, what would you say in terms of, of that proposition, that value? Uh, very good value when you compare it to uh, other products. Um, really, the uh, Garmin is about the only thing out there that can compete directly. Uh, although you know Garmin is very popular, but for people that want to save a little bit of money and still get a great product, Trig is a great answer.